Now, this week, actually in the last couple of weeks, I've undertaken what started as a hindrance turned into a feud and is honestly now an all-out war between myself and the weeds growing through my mulch in the backyard. It's a fucking battleground out there and no team is uh, surrendering. That's for sure. It is. I've turned up the heat this week. Uh, I brought in to show you. Now, I want to thank, obviously, listener Adrian. He is my ally in this situation. He's been backing me up since day one. Shot me an email of a strategic five-step plan on how to rid of any weeds in my backyard. And thanks to uh, Adrian, listener of the show, you'll be proud of me, mate. I have bloody gone and bought exactly what you wanted me to buy from Bunnings. I've got the Garden Pressure Sprayer, five liters. Uh, So I'm just going to fucking rain poison down on this bitch and uh i've also bought the uh weed killer 360 concentrate it makes up to 200 liters it's like fucking cordial but for weeds and death uh so (laughs) i'm excited i'm gonna fucking rain pain upon these leaves they're not even gonna know what's hit it i'm gonna be out there with the buddies pump Just pumping away. Not uncommon for me. Am I right? (laughs) Um, That was a joke about sex. (laughs) Um, That was another bad joke. Fuck. I think not doing stand-ups making me definitely worse at comedy. That was the only thing keeping me in check. Now, I'm just throwing shit out there now. I'm throwing shit at the wall, and I just know it's being poorly received. (laughs) But uh, yeah, I did have a pretty stern message for the weeds uh, this week. So, And also, I'm looking at them. I'm, they're growing under my fucking fence now. They are literally just any opportunity, any crevice, any crack, any there's a bit of pavement in our backyard and they're just, they're even growing through that now. Actually, before I deliver this message, I need to open my window so they can, they can hear me. Look at there's one right now just staring at me, coming underneath the fence. What the, what the fuck are you looking at, huh? The neighbors probably think I'm yelling at them. Uh, Not them, just the uh, weeds in the backyard. All right, and before we begin, I'm just going to make this look like an official press conference as well, Uh, just so the weeds know not to fuck with me. Put these here as trophies of war. All righty, listen up. (coughs) 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 To the weeds in my backyard, I come before you today with an important message. Just like Jackson O'Doherty's career in 2017, I will do my best to end you. But unfortunately for the world, I will most likely fail. I will lay waste to your above surface growth, rip the roots out from underneath you and make you regret ever growing through my mulch. This is not a warning. It is a declaration of war. I'm coming for you and I will be relentless. Okay, you can guarantee that. You may think you have the upper hand in this conflict because I'm just one bored, lonely man talking to the weeds in his backyard. You are correct about that, but I'm not alone in this fight. I have allies in my local Bunnings warehouse who supplied this equipment here. It's not sponsored, it's just a fact. And listener Adrian, AKA the Poison Master, as he shall henceforth be known. Even though I'm out here in the trenches by myself, I know I have the support of the listeners at home during this war. This podcast community against all odds managed to locate a fat pigeon named Peter out of 60,000 girthy pigeons which inhabit Melbourne CBD. We have also started a global fitness revolution in the world gym. Therefore, royally fucking a few weeds up in my backyard should be a piece of piss. Literally, I'll probably urinate all over those weeds at some point. I'm going to start at night just going out there. Cop that, huh? Weeds, you have 24 hours to kill yourselves. Otherwise, I will go full Liam Neeson on your ass. I will find you and I will kill you. Let the battle begin. Oh, fuck, wrong sound effect. (laughs) 